Here at Brickitect Industries, we oftentimes get approached by companies via email wanting to work with us. Imagine a company wanting to work with this guy or even this guy. Oftentimes we just delete those messages, but on occasion there are things that we are very interested in sharing and uh, we have one of those things right now. This is what we got ourselves into here. This came from Micro Slot Racing, and while we're not a slot racing channel or do anything with slot racing cars, what appealed to me with this is that the base plates around the track of this actually have Lego studs, so you can build around the track, and I just thought that was a really cool concept. They not only sent this over to us, which here's a look at the back, where you can see all of the detail and how crazy you can get with this, they also sent over an accessory pack where we have two extra cars and some extra track as well. Whoa. I like the cars. Yeah. Pretty tiny and small. Mm -hmm. There is actually some Lego to be built in here as well. Or what looks like Lego. And a ultra, ultra rare yellow brick separator. Cool. First time having one of those. That's pretty cool. Like they go in and then they go back out. Oh yeah. Go Here's the start line. Let me show you how these things go together here. Easy peasy. So that's going to be the top part of our track. I'm just kind of copying what they have here. One, two, three. On one. We try to find go-kart versions of these. That'd be pretty neat. I'm actually wondering, I know this is like way ahead of the times, but could we like take these bodies off and then make them out of Lego? Because that's where the only, I think, missed opportunity is with this without actually having it built yet, is that they should have made these kind of like brick built. So you could customize them and make your own cars too. But we could try that. I think that'd be actually like next level. Maybe we could give them an idea for version two of this. But I won't uh, critique this until we actually have it built. And I still got a little bit more to go. This is looking sick so far, Dad. Yeah, I like it. Check this out. Put that in there. So then you got like a place to build right there. We got a couple more pieces left here. I just hit my head off the box. This is very dangerous making slot car videos, guys. Don't recommend it. Come on, baby. I'm pretty hairy. Just squeeze that in. Gotta hulk these things together, Clark, man. We all good here? These two go up here to make like a, a giant grid. Oh my gosh. Look at that track. Holy smokes. Okay, that's just like the, the very basic thing. I do want to test this out to see what it's like to actually make sure that it works and that it's worth investing in. So uh, right here, you got to plug the controllers in there, Clark, man. Put the black and the red one in there. And there should be another cable as well. Although it says cord included, USB charger not included for this. Yes, that's what we need. I hope it's a long one because you hit the figure like we have to get all the way to an outlet from here. I think like six feet would be would be good. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not that. It's also unfortunate this is micro USB because if it was USB C, I already have the one for my laptop and we could easily make it over here. But now I need to. Uh, I guess I need to get an extension. Which car are you going to be, Clark? I'm going to be the red one. I figured. I'll plug in our extension cable here. Oh my gosh. I'm not even hitting anything. Me, me Mine just keeps flying away. What the actual? <laughs> just don't press it the whole way. I swear I'm hitting nothing. Look. What's wrong with this? I was thinking maybe it has to do with this speed control screw. I'll turn it like that and we'll slow it down. I have it all the way slowed. So now. There we go. I'm having rant. I got it working. I will be We're in business, baby. I'm turning my screw even further, so I'm going to go faster. Oh, yeah. Let's go. When they hit the corners, they really slow down. Holy smokes. You see that? My guy hits the corner, and he's like, I'm just... Oh. Let's get some cool action shots here. Holy God! I made mine go too fast. I'd say. Mine, uh, I have this fully down, so you can adjust that screw right there, and that'll determine how fast your car is. That right there, that makes you go like that's a booster, but you don't want to use that around the turn. Clark! You're pulling the whole thing off, bro. No! That's not a wireless controller. Kids these days. I know. Look what 
happens. That's what happens if you go too oh fast. Oh my in gosh. <laughs> we are running out of time because school is rapidly approaching, but this is, I guess, a fun little test. I'll get the rest of this all set up while Clark Man's at school, and uh, we'll have like a nice little setup here. <laughs> With Clark Van off to school, I went ahead and did what any self-respecting adult would do. I finished my micro slot racing set and I wanted to show the additions off to you. Most notably, this brick built garage, which architecturally not much to look at, but it was a small Lego build that I included with this. Instructions were pretty good. Piece quality is decent as well. Much better than what these base plates are. If you're a Lego enthusiast, these base plates are gonna be nothing but a disappointment to you because they are just super cheap. Well, and that's unfortunate because that's what really drew me into this as a Lego guy. I was like, oh, that's cool that they're doing slot cars with Lego, but the Lego portion of this is, it, it's not so good. What is good is the car color selection. We've got the green car and yellow car in there, and I took those out of this extra pack that they included. So this was a bonus on top of the, like, the base set, I suppose. I think it goes without saying, but you can't run these all at the same time. It's more of a switch out routine where if you get bored with the gray or the red car, you can come in with the yellow and green. I also included the track extension. There were two straights and there were two turns and I put those out here. So we've got a little bit of a bonus section out here and you could, I guess, just keep buying these and you could really fill up your entire table. I'm just not sure if you would want to because again, the quality of this isn't very good and I, I looked this up online and this sells for $60 just for the base set, which doesn't even get you everything that you see here. And for me, I just don't think I'm quite there. There is another element to this that maybe if you're a model type person, you like putting this kind of stuff together, but that just wasn't for me. And I didn't even bother with these, which are flags. And I think you can see that a little better down here because again, as a Lego person, I think we can all relate to this. Stickers, so many stickers to go on this. And just for those flags, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably good without those. The real draw is that you can build around this. Like if you wanna build a tunnel up this straightaway, you could do that. You wanna improve upon this garage, you can do that. You wanna make a stand for minifigs to sit at and enjoy the race, you could do that as well. And on the back of this, they show you like what this could be if you really went crazy, like that's kind of cool, right? Like if you start adding some some grass in there, maybe put some green plates, you put the trees, you put other buildings and stuff. This could get pretty cool. Maybe put a podium in there. They've got a whole like uh, setup in the background there that we don't have. So it's not super impressive right out the gate, no pun intended, which uh, again, there's more stickers to go on there as well. There's a start and finish sticker that I didn't apply, but it could get you started. If you're a if you're a slot car enthusiast, like you're just loving slot cars, I could see maybe picking this up, especially if you have a Lego base as well, and if you have a lot of pieces that you could put together with this. It's an interesting concept. I just I wouldn't find myself spending money on this. But it does work and it's it's kind of fun. You know, running slot cars is neat. I'm curious to see. They move the stickers out of the way. I'm curious to see when Clark Man gets home what we can do with this. I imagine he has some plans for the the outside and making it cool but as it stands right now this is this is what you get for it i do appreciate getting this for free to try out i'm sure they're not going to be thrilled with my review of this especially considering i looked at a review is that distracting i looked at a review earlier of a guy that did like a made for kids video that he's just like loving this and it's like the greatest thing ever but here on brick Attack, we give real reviews you can trust us our opinion is not uh, is not bought out by micro slot racing by any means. It's the real deal, and uh, that's how I feel as I'm hypnotizing you with slot cars. I think we might actually get into this a little bit. It's up to Clark, man. We'll see. Man's home. The legend is back, and he's ready to run some slot cars. We built the garage. Yeah, we got some new cars in there. I actually put the sticker on too, the finished sticker. I didn't build the flags though. I shall not. I will not. My green one's in the lane right now. Yellow one's in the last lane. Hey, yellow, you'll get for me. <laughs> Who's faster? I think yellow one's beaten. We'll see. My yellow one's beaten. Yeah, my red car's getting a little janked around the turns there. My yellow one's just as easy as easy. You want to oh, make no. a different track configuration? Yeah. Okay, I'll make a long one. Ah! This is the massive straightaway track, so the start line is actually down here, and you go through a bunch of turns. And then you go all the way down and then all the way back down to a photo finish off of this massive straightaway. All the way down, baby. Ready? Oh my God. That landed on me, bro. All right, here, I'm gonna hit it. 
Oh. You, you gotta kill the uh, turbo before you get to the end. Yeah, you need to stop that turbo. Big time. Oh, that's not for Dad. We have a problem? Yeah. That is not snapped in, bro. Okay, here we go. Oh, I spun something. out. Can you fix me up there? <laughs> I'm at the very top end of the straightaway. Hey! Mm, I'm destroying you? Yeah, you put me in the wrong thing. I'm on the outside lane. There we go, turbo. It actually works if you just turbo for a little bit. What's wrong with my car? Here, let me see. I'm like 17 laps ahead of you, Clark. Yeah. Here, let me see him. Let me see him. He's not even running. Oh, the uh, you got to watch out for the things in the bottom. They have to be like kind of facing back a little bit. You understand? I'll try. Oh, hit me. Zing. Zing. What? What out? <laughs> Get the cool shot where it's coming down. Zing. Oh, that, oh, that was cool. Your open. Oh. <laughs> out of my way. Out of the way. Zing. Ding, ding. I like how the lights come on. Come on, someone. It's a few days later now, and I thought I'd give my final thoughts on the Microslot racing set. Something that I wasn't overly sure of, but Clark Man has been loving this. Like every day since we've gotten into this, he's been playing with it. You can see we've added some Lego stuff. Clark built some grandstands there. We have a deflector for when you go full turbo off the straightaways. You hit that wall there. We've got this little thing and that. You can tell the architecture here is quite astonishing. I guess that's a tower. Uh, these may be just holding these pieces together. The garage is looking a little crazy right now, but it's been getting used. This is our third track configuration that we've done. What can I say? It's, it's a fun thing to do. And it's through the eyes of a seven-year-old that you see just how much value there is in something like this with combining slot cars with some Lego. A lot of opportunity to build onto this. I want to make like a full-on layout with like trees and mountains and like grandstands that, uh, is that what they're called? Grandstands or like where the fans sit. I want to make like an official one that's maybe me, mini fakes could sit at even though it's not quite to scale. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give like, uh, I guess a, a final conclusion to this video and let you know that uh, we did enjoy this. And at $60, it's still a little steep to me, but man, this has been getting a lot of play and probably a lot more play actually than what we get out of just a traditional Lego set, surprisingly. So that's my thoughts on it, my honest opinion as I try to keep it here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on this uh, journey in micro slot racing. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you all in the next video.